Okay, hi. How are you doing this evening? Besides being good. And please unmute yourself because we will talk tonight. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good, but I have to get my braces adjusted tomorrow. Yay. Yay. I mean, that's kind of not a good thing though because I might need rubber bands because my third appointment. Uh-huh. Or next time, but I don't know. Yay. Well, what else? Who else would like to share? How are you doing? Besides good. You are good? Yeah. I'm happy to hear that. Palin, Natalie, Grace. I'm fine. You are fine. I love your cheek. <laughs> Bailin, how are you? I'm good. Great. Thank you again for the two videos you shared. Grace and, and I are doing our videos tonight. Thank you very much. Natalie, how are you? Fine. I am looking for a day when I will be, well, when you allow me to see your eyes. That would be nice. Uh, did I cover everybody? Did I cover everybody? Well, yeah. are you okay? How are you doing? I'm doing okay. Nice. I'm doing fine, I'm, but I'm still using my cane. Oh. After the ranking, did that hurt your knee? Yes. Next day, my knee was like a ball. <laughs> we told you you didn't have to help. But I can't. It was fun with you. It was fun. <laughs> but you saved me a lot. Thank you a lot. You saved me. Please remember to consider this as part of your charity work. When you fill out the form, say, we clean Pastor Levine Yard. <laughs> We already have four and a half hours. Wow. Thank you a lot, girls. Okay. What did we learn last time? We learned about the Ten Commandments. Awesome. Awesome. Which one? I think it was the first and second one. Exactly. And what the first and the second one are talking about? I see Priyana open, is opening her book. Great. You can open your book, your Bible, and see and look at the Ten Commandments and tell me what we talked about last time. We did the first one and the second one, I think. Yes, yes, I agree. But what did they talk about, the first and second one? Do not hesitate to read. That you should not have any other God besides God. Exactly. And what does that mean? It's okay to read. Luther asked, what does that mean? It's written in your catechism, a uh, catechism. We are, we are to fear, love, and trust God above all things. Exactly. 
God must be number one. Not my iPad, not my computer, not my cell phone, not my games, but should be, not my nails, <laughs> but it should be God, right? What is the second commandment? Well, we should, the way to sum it up is that you shouldn't, like, use God's name wrongfully. Uh-huh. And what does that mean? Again, it's okay to read. We are to fear and love God so that we do not curse, swear, or practice magic or lie. Thank you. For example, if I say, oh, Jesus, what's this? Is that swelling? Well, it's not really swearing, but it's kind of wrong. It's wrong. Thank you. Why is wrong? Because you're saying the, pretty much saying the Lord's name in vain. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad you are awake tonight. You are awake. <laughs> I'm glad. Exactly. And um, so God's name is very holy and we should honor the God's name and should not use it in vain. Now, the second one, the third one, let us see the third one. Before, before we talk about, that's what we learned last time. Skip. That's what we learned last time. So before we jump and go into details, I need you to have an overview on the Ten Commandments. Somebody is bothering me by sending me text messages. I will turn it off while we are watching this. Can you hear? You hear me? Yes. Good. Yeah. Can you still see? Yeah. Yeah. I just want to make it bigger. The volume is turned on, though. Yeah, I can't hear anything. I can't hear it either. What did you say? The volume. I can't hear it. Volume isn't on. Is the volume turned on? Yeah. So you can't hear at all. Nothing. No, try turning the volume on on your computer. I, it's very loud, but it's okay. This problem is solved. I can't sol solve this problem. Just give me a second. Uh, downloads and no. Ten Commandments video.
Uh, okay. Thanks for letting me know. And now sharing again. What about now? Can you? Yeah. Okay, enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, lawyer. Yes. <laughs> So can we keep the Ten Commandments, my friends? Yeah. Is it difficult or easy? Living in this world? Both. Both. Good question. Would you kindly please explain your answer? Um. I don't know. Well, there's ups and downs. That's right. That's right. It's not easy to follow God's commandments in your life, but through God's grace, you will be able to follow the commandments. So let, let us continue to study the Ten Commandments. And at the end, uh, when we finish this, talking about the Ten Commandments, we will um, get back to this answer, okay? To this question, okay? 
So what is the third uh, commandment? You can read your catechism. I'll read it. Please. Remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. Do you want me to read what it means too? We are getting to that. Okay. Would you kindly read it again, Priyana, but please read it very slow. <laughs> Remember the Sabbath holy. day and keep it holy. Remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. What does Sabbath mean? What did you guys say? Mine, I lost the internet. I'm asking, what does Sabbath mean? Do you know what the Sabbath mean? No. The Sabbath uh, is a week, weekly day of rest of time or time of worship in the Bible as the seventh day. And it usually means to cease, to stop. That's what does it mean in Hebrew? To stop. Me Sabbath. Sabbath. And Sabbath means to seize or stop. Because God stopped creating on the Sabbath day. So now, my friends. What does it mean? Remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. Let us read what Luther say. say. Who is willing to read? I'll read it. Mm -hmm. We are to fear and love God so that we not despise preaching or God's word, but instead keep that word holy and gladly hear and learn it. Thank you. Luther talks about a specific day of the week. Would you guess that day when we listen to preaching, listen to God's word, and learn Sunday. Sunday, exactly. For the Jews, Sabbath is Saturday. Starts on Friday evening mm -hmm. and ends on Saturday, Saturday evening. So the end of the week for the Jews is Saturday, the end of the week is Sunday. So instead of celebrating uh, the Sabbath on Saturday, we celebrate Sabbath on Sunday. Do you know why we worship God on Sunday, not Saturday? However, many churches worship Saturday and Sunday. Why Sunday? Because it's on the weekend and like most people don't work. But Saturday is part of the weekend. Why does the church worship God on Sunday, not Saturday? Remember Easter. I'm giving you a clue. What happened? What had happened on Easter? Jesus rose from the dead. Thank you. Awesome. Yes. 
So we worship on Sunday because Christ rose from the dead on Sunday morning, my friends. So I want to tell you a story why God wanted us to honor Saturday or Sunday. God gave the commandments, 10 commandments to the Israelites on Mount Sinai in Egypt after they left Egypt. They, you know, Mount Sinai is on the territories between Egypt and uh, Jordan, Palestine. The, Jew, the Israelites were in Egypt, slaves. They had to work every day, no rest for them. So when God led, led them out of Egypt and rescued them, God commanded them to rest at least one day a week. Is that possible to rest one day a week and to focus on God's word? Or you might be busy with something else. Is it possible? Like yeah, it's it possible. Does it work? Great. What? Is it possible to worship God, to rest, and to come to church every Sunday to worship well, God? Well, well, it's possible. It is possible, unless you have very extreme situation that prevents you from attending the church. Now I want you. I want to share with you a, a video, another video about the Sabbath. Okay. <clears throat> Somebody is sending. Okay. Uh, hoo, 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 close. Share screen, yes. And let me know if you hear the video, please. Oh, not this one, sorry. Hopefully this one, yes. Yes, please let me know. Can you hear? Raise your thumb if you hear yeah, me. I can hear it. Good. Did you hear that? Sa number seven, seven refers to completeness. I Remember can hear that? It. Completeness. I can hear it, but it's not very clear. It's super choppy. Okay, because I stop it several times. I can hear, but I can't tell what they're saying. You can't yeah. hear? Well, we, we can, can hear it, but you can't know what they're saying. I can't know what they're saying. Uh, no, I can't hear you. Say it slow down, slow down. What did you say? You can hear some bits, but you cannot tell what they're saying. Oh, no. Nothing, nothing can't hear. Well, we can hear it, but it's like muffled. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Okay. I will put that aside then. I'll stop sharing and 
Oh. So maybe we, uh, oh. Uh, I don't know what to do. Sorry, good to know that. So tell me, how, uh, how do you observe the Sabbath? I'll tell you from your, from your ex experience with your family. I'll tell you about the Jews, for example, the conservative Jews. They do not do anything in the house like cleaning. They don't clean on Saturday. They do not turn on the lights. Uh, they don't cook. They don't cook. They will be the meal a day before. So they do not cook. Uh, they do not uh, wash the dishes. No, 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 no. They can walk for a specific distance to go to the synagogue to worship. They cannot go for a walk like an hour walk or like hiking on on Saturday. That's is considered work. So they don't do that. The conservative Jews, of course, not all the Jews. Uh, they spend time reading the Torah. What else? Uh, they do not. Uh, They have, if they need to turn on the lights and they are really need to do that, do you know what you do, what they do? They ask somebody else to turn the light for them. Uh, just a second. Um, so they make their life complicated. They do not make any shopping, even online shopping. Uh, so it is difficult. Do you find yourself able to do that on Sunday? Yeah. Not yeah. do anything. Oh, I thought you meant, are we able to? Do not turn the light on. You should not cook. You should not. Oh, we can do that. You can. Do you think that will I be. I thought you meant that are we able to like go hiking and stuff? I we you can. That. Yes, we can hike on Sunday. But my question can you live like the Jews? It would be really hard. It will be really hard. Imagine that every Saturday from su Friday evening till uh, Saturday evening, you know, you should not do lots of lots of things. S things like this. It's going to be hard because of this. Jesus said, um, "God created." the Sabbath for people to rest. God did not create people for the Sabbath. Do you understand what I'm talking about? What's the difference? Yeah. What's the difference? Like they don't do anything, they don't even turn on a light. Yeah. You are not allowed to use your cell phone. You are not allowed to play games. <laughs> you are not allowed to study. That is fine, right? <laughs> what does Jesus mean by God created the Sabbath for us? God did not create us for the Sabbath. Think 
about it. I'm looking for, for it. Come on. Kind of, so that, like, we don't have to do anything for, like, most of the day. Mm -hmm. But we do, like, small stuff. Okay. Hear what Jesus say. I'm going to share it with you. Uh, where is share screen? So you, do you see this or it is small? It's small. I can see it, but, but it's kind of small. Okay. Uh, you then Jesus said, oh, he said, the Sabbath was made for humankind and not humankind for the Sabbath. That means God created the Sabbath what did you do, Emily? I don't know. <laughs> That's funny. God created the Sabbath for us so that we rest. Take care of ourselves. Right? But when we do all these rules, follow all these rules, we should not turn off the lights, we should not play games, we should not uh, wash our dishes, we should not uh, study, we should not do lots of things on the Sabbath, then it becomes that God created us for the Sabbath. God created the Sabbath so that you need to rest. You need to relax. As Martin Luther said, you need to go to church and hear about how God loves you and learn about God's grace. So in my, in my family, and I come to you as an example, we observe the Sabbath by, uh, or that is Sunday, but we go to church. Uh, the best meal we have is on Sunday. Uh, it's like a family gathering. <laughs> That's how I grow up. But of course, going to church is priority. But that did not mean that we did not work. I did do lots of studies on Sundays and I washed the dishes, <laughs> but the most important was the church. And of course, having fun with my family. Now, what about you? How do you observe the Sabbath? And that is Sunday for us. Well, what do you mean by that? What do you do on Sunday? How do you uh, spend Sunday? That is our Sabbath. Um, well, Grace and I normally have a soccer game. Mm -hmm. So we're not really resting. You are not really what? Resting. Oh, so you're walking, you and Grace. <laughs> yeah. When do you rest, by the way? Yeah, because we are always busy. Uh, um, at night. <laughs> That's it? Okay, good, okay. What else? So when you do not have soccer game, what do you do on Sunday? I'm ski race. What do you do? I ski. Oh, yeah. 
If you don't have that, what do you do? <laughs> I saw yeah. you coming to church many times on Sunday. Yeah. Yeah, so do you spend time with your family, both of you, Grace and Emily? With Andrew? Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Who else? How do you observe the Sabbath that is Sunday in your family? We said, well, that's normal when we spend time with our family. We'll see Wait. my grandma and my cousins. Nice. Nice. But do you play? Yeah. Yeah. Great. That's important. That's what will give you energy. Okay, that is Palin and Natalie, Brianna. What do you do on Sunday? How do you observe the third commandment? I come to church. Great. And, um, some, and sometimes we go out to eat. And sometimes I see a few of my friends. Nice. So you go to church. So do you you have fun on Sunday? Yeah. Or oh, hopefully. <laughs> Thank you. Who else? Berlin and Natalie. Well, we would go to church and then my parents always pretty much every Sunday go grocery shopping because like we have to stock up for next week uh -huh. and I'd hang out with my friends. Nice. And Balin? Thank you, Natalie. Um, normally I have softball, um, but sometimes I go to church. Uh-huh. Do you have fun with uh, your family? Yeah. yeah. Great. So observing the Sabbath, by, as Martin Luther said, by coming to church is very important for our life. It's important to know that God loves you and to live the, your life believing that God loves you. Now, let us move to this next uh, commandment. Who is going to read? I can. Thank you. Um, honor your father and mother. Yes, honor your father and mother. What is this or what does this mean? We are to fear and love God so that we either neither despite nor anger our parents and other others in authority, but instead honor, serve, obey, love, and respect them. Wonderful. So we neither despise nor anger our parents. What do you think? That's sometimes hard. Indeed, um, I know that, I know that, it's hard. Let's start word by word. What does despise mean? Can I get like disappointed? Let's see what he says. Do you see what the, what the options? Like, love them, scorn them, hate them, spurn them, Look down on them, feel contempt. Like, you should not hate your parents. Is it possible to hate your parents? Well, even if I get mad at them, I still love them. Yes. But still possible to hate them? 
It's possible, yeah. Yes, is it is it possible? Yes, because I met many people who disrespect their parents, do not like them, are ashamed by them. And that happens particularly if the parents do not live good life. Um, I had a friend who uh, doesn't like her, doesn't like the fact that her parents are poor. So she doesn't want to tell the people, her friends, that her parents are poor. She doesn't like to introduce her friends to her parents. In this way, she despised her parents. Tell you something else. There was a book, you know, my, you know, you know that my father died. So I'm listening to devotions about grief and losing a parent. And I started to look for another book. One of the book I found was this one is called, can you see it? Who's willing yeah. to read it? Dead people stuck. Yes. And I started, I downloaded yesterday and start to listen to it. And the author, Lori Kyle Martin, she just tells jokes to the audience and she kept mocking her mom who, who, who was very old and her toes were on the top of each other. And she started to to make people laugh and to like her, she mocked her mom. I couldn't continue to listen to this book. Within five yeah. minutes, I stopped because that woman was despising her mom so that made people like her so that the people would laugh and like her. So for me, this woman doesn't honor her parents. She was mocking her mom, the way she walked, the way she dressed, about her ears, about her snoring, and people were laughing and that is very disrespectful. Hear what? This word means we neither despise or anger our parents. But remember, our parents love us. But Martin Luther, Luther talks about others in authority. Who could, who that people that we should honor them like we honor our parents. You can pray for them. Yeah, yes. But beside our parents, Martin Luther talk about others in authority. Like whom? Like whom? Your grandparents. Exactly. Thank you, Brianna. Grandparents. Who else? Your neighbors? Neighbors, if they are nice. <laughs> yeah. And some uncles. Yes. Who else? Guardian. Your godparents. Guardian, godparents. And me. I'm your pastor. <laughs> 
and well, the vicar. So, uh, people with authority, we should also honor them and respect them and serve them and obey them. So tell me, how do you show your parents, grandparents, aunts and uncles uh, that you respect them and you love them and you honor them? How? Listen to them when they do. Do you listen to them, really? Well, not all the time. <laughs> I, I agree with you, Grace. <laughs> what else? <laughs> Try your best to, um, like, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but like, um, do your best to like, hold on, let me think. I'll, I'll, talk, I'll, I'll answer. Okay. Bill I miss your voice. How do you show your parents that you love them? Or your grandparents? I think Balin left. Balin left? Oh no. I think her internet kicked her out. Who kicked her out? Her internet. Oh no. So Emily. Um, you can make them proud. How do you make them proud? Um, working your best. Working your best, exactly. My father told me that he was proud of me. And I will never forget what he said. That meant a lot to me. Yeah. We can respect them, take care of them. When they get old, I take care of my mom. Even though she lives, lives in Palestine and I live here, I respect her and I take care by taking care of her financially. Uh, and when she needs to go to see a doctor, my brother takes her. So showing love and respect of our parents, particularly when they are old, it's important. And I call my mom two or three times a day. Oh yes, Natalie, open your eyes. Yes, I do that. I check on her, I listen to her concerns. That's how I honor her. So I, since we cannot watch more videos because it seems I should download the video, then watch it. But next time I'll do that. So do you have any questions? Any comment? Yeah. Because, well, do you have anything to add to what I said? Please do. Um, no, I don't really have anything. All right. Would you lead the, uh, was it, what does it mean, the highs and lows? Okay. Mm -hmm. Who wants to start? I'll start. Okay. Um, my high is that we won our soccer game this weekend a bit against our biggest rivals. Ooh, wow! Who's your biggest rivals? Oregon. Okay. And then our lo my low is that I don't know. I don't really know what my low is. Well, that's good. You don't have lows. 
wants to go next? I'll go. I'll go next. Um, my high is also that we won our game 3-0 against our biggest rival. 3-0? Yeah. Wow. And then my low is probably that we don't know when we're going to be able to see my grandma again because she had to go down to Milwaukee. Oh, yeah. She will come back soon. <laughs> well, last year she was in, uh, down in Milwaukee all summer. In the past year she was too, so. Uh-huh. Okay. And did you want to go? I guess Brianna said she wants to go next. Yeah, I'll go. So my high is that I have A in most of my classes, except for two. And then um, my low is, it's pretty much a low is that I have to get my braces adjusted tomorrow. You have to get what? I did, slow down, please. My braces adjusted tomorrow. Oh, Oh, yeah. Good luck. Yeah, good luck with that. So I'm gonna get an orange and black for Halloween. Nice. So when do you have to have that done? In what? The morning or when do you have it done? In the morning or the afternoon or? At one o'clock. At one o'clock. So at least you're able to kind of like eat like a good breakfast then in the morning then. Yeah. Maybe lunch too. Yeah. Oh, sorry for that. So I have another high. Um, my friend got braces this yesterday. And that's a high? Well, for me, not for her. Oh. Why for you? I don't know. I've just, like, always known her without, like, braces or anything. Now, so now she has braces. Mm-hmm. And now, Natalie. So my high was that um, I made this super good cheesecake yesterday. Oh. And my low is that I had to retake a test because my teacher graded it wrong. Because your teacher what? Graded it wrong. Oh. I see. Which teacher? Miss Graduleski. Okay, you're on seven two. Yeah. <laughs> My turn. How did, Go ahead. How did she okay. grade her people wrong though? Just like she marked some answers correctly, but the um, computer didn't save them. That's uh. weird. My turn, my turn. Uh, my high is that um, Grace and Emily and the grandma Joy came and cleaned my uh, yard. Uh, that was super, super great, unexpected. Uh, they surprised me. And my law that my knee is swollen. <laughs> But thank you. I can't thank you enough, girls. You will. Um, so my high this week, I think it's just, um, well, actually, this is what they call reading and research week for me. Uh -huh. so, so I didn't have any classes this week. Is that so, high? <laughs> so that's kind of a high because I got a chance to kind of get some stuff caught up. Mm -hmm. Um. A low would probably just be this has been a really this this has been uh, this has been a long week so far and just a lot of things kind of going on. I'm so sorry, but yeah. So um, I think please remind me if I'm incorrect, but I think Balin was scheduled to pray tonight. 
He yes, was. Yeah. So, yeah. What was that? I'm pretty sure he got okay. kicked out. Okay. Yeah. So we'll hold off for Balin. Um, I can play instead. I can play. Wonderful. Thank you. Uh, but before I play, I just want to say that uh, next week I am on vacation. Do I need to attend Zoom or not? Should we take a vote? <laughs> no, if, enjoy your vacation. Sure, sure. Where are you going? I did not, depends on my knee. If my knee is fixed and it's good, <laughs> then I'm planning to go to any park for hiking that is very, very far away from here. That's my plan. But if my knee is killing me, <laughs> I'm staying home. I left it and ice it. Just stay off of it as that's much it. as you can. You know, that's what I'm doing. I, uh, my knee now is on a chair with a cushion, so it's not down. What did you but, do to me? Sit again. What did you do to me that to your knee that started uh, like aggravating it in the first place? Uh, because my father died, I was very, 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 very sad. And usually, when I am very sad and under stress, my knees hurt. That's the main reason. So I count on you, Plaz. <laughs> And it takes, when my sister died, the, I experienced the same thing, but with my other knee. And now I'm having with this knee. So, mm. pardon me. Well, so like the same knee at least. <laughs> well, I wish it's the same knee. I wish. And now both of them are bad. Both of them. I used to have one bad knee, and now I have two. <laughs> and now they're equal, so you're not going to have more pain on the other one then. <laughs> I'm going to miss you next week. So, shall we play? Uh -huh. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one God, amen. Dear God, thank you for this wonderful and funny and cute confirmation class. Each girl is a treasure and a gift from you. So Lord, help these girls to grow up in faith and to trust you always. Help Vicar well and myself to lead them into you alone, Jesus Christ. And I pray for each one of them, for Natalie, Brianna, Balin, Grace, and Emily. Be with them as they are studying and playing soccer or volleyball or as they are having fun and rest also. I ask you to be with Vicar Well. May the, the coming week will be less stressful on him. Give us peaceful night and sweet, sweet, sweet dreams. We pray in Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thank you. I, you know, you are awesome tonight. All of you. All of you. All of you. Thank you. We got yeah. through a day of sleep, but I'm surprised I'm still awake. You. See it again? We got through a day of school, but I'm surprised I'm still awake. Me too. <laughs> Me too. Okay. Bye. Bye. Hey, Pastor Naveen. 
Yes. Can you stay on a minute? Yeah, let me stop recording.